you just love the holidays? I sure do. It's my favorite time of year. You can't beat home sweet home for the holidays. Holidays so swell. From all of us. Here we are, Operation Christmas Smiles. This is our 16th annual event. It's not as large and big as we normally do because of the COVID, obviously. We had to shorten things up, but we still made it happen with all the toys for the children that are part of the organization, and we're talking about hundreds of toys. I just first want to mention this. Um, I want to thank the Tablet for Bright Christmas Fund. Um, they had committed a $5,000 donation to help with the Christmas event and to provide food and everything for the families. So we're so grateful to them. Our Lady of Grace Catholic Academy, thank you for all the toys you guys have put together. Once again, Operation Christmas Smiles 2021. Yeah, we're getting ready for it. We got another week yet. And obviously we're depending on our community members as well as uh, churches that are providing these toys for hundreds of children that are part of the organization. So Our Lady of Grace Catholic Academy has donated, oh my gosh, a whole, bags and bags full of toys. So Father Guy, I want to thank you so much. And, Maybe you just want to share like how they arrange that because I know purchasing toys out there is becoming a, an issue for some people. So how did that happen? It was a drive run by the school for the children to partake of giving to people who will not get gifts. Mm -hmm. And we put it in our parish bulletin that the purpose of giving to reaching out is that they'll give to families that would not get a toy unless it is brought in for them. Mm -hmm. And so that is the incentive to, uh, to collect them. Wow. That's great. That's why we and every were, child gets something for Christmas. Yeah, we were a little concerned on the beginning of this because we weren't too sure if toys were going to be coming in. Yeah. We, you know, we, we give out the vouchers ahead yeah. of time. So my thought was like, wow, if we give out 800 vouchers and then we wind up with 400 toys, what do you do? How do you look at that kid's face when we you don't? Know, so I can see that, you know, things are coming together. And, and, and you've been doing this for so many years with That's us. So our pleasure. We're, we're so grateful for what you yeah. guys do. And, um, and even helping us out for Thanksgiving as well. So yeah. that's so great. And I, I appreciate that so much. The Rotary Club of Arizona, obviously to every event, they're always here to support what we do and to help our neighbors in need. The Rotary Club of Arizona every year provides these toys for our children. Outside of everything else that goes throughout the year, their, their, their support has been amazing for our organization. And again, they dropped off tons of toys to help these children. Um, Carl, Joe, thank you so much again for being here, Carl. I don't know, throughout this whole crazy pandemic, I mean, how do you guys work this all out again this year? Uh, we have a we have a great bunch of guys at our club. They're all all special guys. Everybody does what they have to do to make sure that we can help the children in our community. Uh, a lot of these toys we donated from uh, a school in Staten Island, PS6, and uh, Marian Sapienza organized the toy drive for us. Uh, she's been doing it for the last couple of years. Last year with COVID, unfortunately, we were able to do it. But uh, you're doing a great job. 
uh, where our club is always behind you. Yes. Yeah, you have our support. Us. You know, we put the boxes out in all the, you know, the stores so, you know, yes. that the, the guys have and, and their places of business, and people come and they donate it. You know, and we go out and we'll buy some stuff, you know, for the kids when you tell us the age groups that you need. So we yeah. try to, you know, to hit the brackets for you, you know, make it nice for everybody. Because you can't just get toys for little kids, you know. No. You got to get for everybody. Everybody, so there's all, every age group needs a toy on Christmas, you yes. know, which is great. Yes. So we're, we're glad to help you out and glad to be here for the kids and the people that need it. So great. I mean, we appreciate it so much. I mean, the kids, I mean, that's why we call it Operation Christmas Smile. We yes. just want to put a smile on yeah. the kids' face, yes. especially throughout these challenging times. So hopefully this year Santa will have his hope is along with um, with him that actually is going to be this Saturday. All right, good. So um, and then of course whatever happens for Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday, but the main thing will be for the, the uh, right. for, yes, that's that's yeah. the main thing. Hopefully we can get back to you doing the normal thing at the church. Yeah, yeah it's the big event to normal one day. But it'll it, come. It's still happening yes. no matter what. We did it last year. We did it this year. So it's nobody can say no. we didn't do it through the pandemic. We did it anyway. Okay, so Operation Christmas Smiles 2021. This is a 16th annual event that we're doing. Uh, I know it's not as large and big as we normally do, but the Rotary Club of Arizona obviously always comes to the rescue when it comes to this um, this event. Uh, we, you guys gave us this great choice for the children. So Ralph, again, you know, we're just very grateful. Outside of just the uh, Christmas event, but you guys support this organization every every day. Um, just to keep a program going for the food. So we're so grateful for that. And obviously our, our, our clients are very grateful to that too. So um, I don't know, I mean, I know you guys had arranged all this throughout the COVID, so how'd that kind of work out for you guys this year? Well, this year uh, we had a lot of people uh, putting in uh, boxes in their businesses. Uh, Alonso Nakasa, uh, what do you call it, uh, Bruno Fisacci, and, and uh, Mike Acabucci, I can't, I can't tell you, I can give you all the names. Yeah. Joe Messina, uh, Jim Giustiniani, all the members of the Rotary. Um, we look, we thank you for what you do for the neighborhood. We thank you for what you do for the kids. Uh, we want to support you because of what you do. And uh, under COVID and under the circumstances that's going on right now, I mean, this is needed more now than it <laughs> ever was needed. Yeah. Uh, I would say 2018, 19, or so uh, Christmas yeah. was pleasant compared to this. Yeah. So the last two years, you know, God helped the world and uh, yeah. protect us all. Yes. And now also they're calling the epidemic is going increasing. Yeah. It's it's like it's insane. But seeing the kids uh, smiling, give them that on behalf of the Rotary. Uh, we thank you, Tom. And uh, unfortunately, I'm, I'm waiting for some of my. Uh, brothers to be yes. here but in the meantime thank you all merry christmas and happy holidays to everyone and stay healthy and stay safe we got pc bar and grill we're so grateful for you guys every year you guys come up with wonderful toys as well hey everybody we're here at pc bar and grill every year we come to collect toys that they gather together and to help our children in need for our operation christmas smiles party so we're going to go inside now and um, collect the toys and say hello to everybody Here we are at PC Bar and Grill. Once again this year, they always provide a toy drive for our children in need for our food programs called Operation Christmas Smiles. So Christine, I just wanted to share a little bit about, I mean, throughout this pandemic, you still got things going like you did last year, and you did it again this year. Thank you so much. Uh, extra, uh, we said something about, uh, the food is brought by, by 
my poopy letters are here so I can pop up. And then everybody has a great tour. So that's just so great. Connors and Sullivan, your staff has just come together again to bring all these toys to help our children. Here we are at Connors and Sullivan. Yes, every year they other than do a food drive for Thanksgiving, but they also provide toys for our children that for the Operation Christmas Smiles event. And we're obviously very grateful and many of the children will be. So guys, I just want to thank you all for coming together to partner with us with this program. Uh, do this every year and um, maybe just want to share a little bit about how you guys kind of arrange that? Uh, the generosity of our employees has been outstanding. Um, everyone really gets together and um, wants to just give so we just, you know, we say it one time and it all comes together. So we have many things to give thanks to everyone's generosity. That's so great. So again, you know, you know, you, we have hundreds of children Tomorrow is going to be our event, or well, the first one off anyway, then you have Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. But um, again, you know, as an anti-hunger organization, it's really impossible for us to provide these toys. So we depend on businesses and organizations and our community members as well as you guys to make it happen every year. I and mean, we've been doing this for many years. You guys have been doing it with us for many years. And so we're very grateful for that. So I just want to wish everybody a healthy, happy Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. The Dyker Heights Civic Association. Yes, well, I, I mean, I believe everybody knows what kind of organization this is. We're an anti-hunger social service organization um, with thousands of families registered. Um, it, it's been pretty wild throughout this whole pandemic because we had lines around the block, down the blocks. But I'm a big believer in helping those who need it, not those who want it. So we have cut down a lot of the people because People found back their jobs again and whatever. So um, I'm a big believer in not just making a big noise and accomplishing nothing. We, we, we had to make sure that we're helping those who are really going through some hard time. And before the pandemic, we had over 10,000 families registered with us. So I, after, during the pandemic and, and right, right after it, you know, we had thousands of more people. But it's back to normal in a sense where the demand is not great no more. Um, as long as we don't just open the doors, of course, everybody's gonna want. That's what I mean by that. So we're not interested in, in just giving out food to people and find it to be useless in the sense of what we're, we're actually doing. So we wanna make sure we're helping those who need it, not those who want it. And the Christmas, yes, I mean, you've been helping us for years with this stuff. Uh, we normally do a big event, um, and then we do another event, but last year, I wasn't a party poop, but we still did it. We did it at the organization. We had Santa outside, we set up a couple of tents, had a couple of characters, and we're gonna do the same thing again this year. Senator Andrew Bernales, the 68th Community Council, NIA, the uh, JL uh, HVAC, uh, Juro Cartering. Thank you guys for your contribution to help this event as well. Um, the schools that did the toy drives for us was PS 186. Elaine Delaney, the parent coordinator from PS 186. And um, they obviously support us every year with the Operation Gobble Given, the uh, Operation Christmas Smiles event. We want to also thank them for raising over $1,300 for the Operation uh, Gobble Given for turkeys and food that we provided. And uh, right now they're obviously doing the Christmas Operation Christmas Smiles event. We had a toy drive here. So, hey, um, throughout this whole COVID stuff, how um, how do you still arrange to, to keep things going like this? So the kids were so excited, our student leadership, we have a new leadership team this year and they were very eager to start helping the community, so they were very involved with Operation Gobbler Giving, you know, they all bought in a dollar, they knew $20 fed a family, and then we just spoke to the kids about um, Operation Christmas Smiles, and they wanted to help the kids in the neighborhood so that their holidays are brighter. Uh, I just wanted to introduce our co-president. This is Maria Espinosa, PTA. I have a great PTA at PS 186, along with our administration team that supports everything that we do for our student leadership. And it's been such a great partnership with Tommy for I don't even many years. Yeah, no. many years. <laughs> so we, on behalf of PS 186, we'd like to wish everyone a happy holidays, health and peace for the new year. Well, thank you again for what you guys do. You're always 
still hey. making it through no matter if it rain, shine, storm, and, and then the COVID. <laughs> yes. And it's still providing, you know, the yeah. services that to help our neighbors in need. Absolutely. So thank you for your partnership. We're so grateful. Thank you all the students um, for participating in this and making it happen as well. So we're very grateful. And so with the hundreds of clients, well, in this case, thousands of clients, but hundreds of children who are going to be receiving uh, toys again this year. No. Just to put a no. smile, that's why we call the Operation Christmas Smiles. We want to put a smile on our kid's face, especially through these challenging times. So thank you once again, and have a great you're holiday welcome. season. You're so welcome. And um, The kids were thrilled. I actually had one, one of our students, bought a Lego set, built it, and wrote a note. Really? So it's not that it's a used toy. Oh. He wanted to build it, and he wanted to make someone happy. Oh, so the kids are amazing. And again, like I said, with the support of our administration team, here we are. <laughs> yes, great, great, great. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Happy holidays, everyone. IS-201, PS-163. Here we are again, Operation Christmas Smiles, 2021 now, and we're providing toys for hundreds of our children that are part of the organization. And we're very fortunate that many organizations and schools can't gather together to make this event successful. And um, right now, I just want to mention uh, PSIS-163. Um, they, other than brought tons of food over um, for our Thanksgiving event, but now they also just brought some toys over, and um, we're just very grateful. So April, the assistant principal, can you just share a little bit, like, how you guys got that all together to make that work again this year? Sure. The PTA collaborated with the staff and sent out notices to the students and the community, and they brought in all the toys for the children. Wow. That's so great. So there was the uh, PTA, you said? and Yes, they were very involved, really? the staff, the students, and the community. Wow, that's so great. Well, again, you know, we're very grateful because as an anti-hunger organization, we don't have the ability to do all these toys. It's really the partnership that we have with schools and organizations and the community that make it happen. And exactly. it's, it's great. It's, 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 it's a great time for the kids just to put a little cheer, especially in these challenging times when I'm things are doom and gloom. At least that's what we're doing again this year. We normally do a very large party for those who do know that, but um, unfortunately we're not able to have that in the facility, so we're just gonna do it here. Kids will be excited, Perfect. they'll see Santa, they're gonna see Mickey and Minnie and Goofy and whatever, right. and just to bring a little cheer to that. But again, thank you so much because other than, you know, you guys were here a couple of days ago uh, providing all this food and, and you did it yourselves. I mean, <laughs> that's amazing, really, because sometimes I gotta try to find people to go pick it up and. And meanwhile, here you are, you know, bringing all this stuff, and then again with the toys. So, thank you so much for that for that commitment. No, and that's thank you really, for helping the really, community. Really we appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank you too. So that's it so far, and um, we're getting ready for the event in two more days, and hopefully, um, we put smiles on the kids' faces, like we call it Operation Christmas Smiles. Happy holidays. Happy holiday. PS one sixty four. We're getting ready for the Operation Christmas Smiles event for hundreds of children that are part of the program. Um, each year we have our community come together to uh, donate toys and we even have some wonderful schools that do that like PS 164 uh, Francis Hildago is going to share a little bit about how they arrange that to help our children for this coming Christmas so our school has been um, collecting toys for the past week and we collected almost I would say over a hundred toys and money as well about eight hundred dollars and we're really happy to help that's so great I'm glad, I, I, again, because we have so many kids, it's great. That's why we call it Operation Christmas Smiles. We want to put a smile on the kid's face, especially in these challenging times. So other than providing food, um, this is something that's obviously different than the anti-hunger organization. But still, it's, it's bringing some, some cheer to the families, especially um, today where parents are having a hard time keeping their budget going. So these toys are very yeah. helpful. A lot of our children are needy as well, but they want to give, you know, yeah. and that's what's great. It's really great. Most of the people that give are the ones who are needy, mm -hmm. <laughs> to be honest with you, so it's so great. But thank you, there's a whole bunch. Of, I think you have well over more than 100 toys here, to be honest right. with you, between what's in the bag to what's in the basket here. But um, we're getting ready for next week. Yeah, I'm and, so excited. Um, thank you so much for allowing us to help you. Oh, thank you for partnering with us. I think it's great. So that's what's happening so far, and um, we'll see what happens with the rest of the event. PS 682 and obviously uh, PS 48. Here we are at PS 48. Again, they provide toys for the Operation Christmas Smiles event for the hundreds of children that are part of our organization. So, Ema, I see that you are in a student council. Yep. 
So, how do you guys arrange all this for this year? So, PS48 wanted like, um, to do a toy drive. So, like, people in need can have like toys, have like, a happy holiday. People who need. That's so great. That's great. So, you guys did a, a, a beautiful job. You can see all the toys that are here. They make a lot of kids happy. That's why we call it Operation Christmas Smiles. We just want to put a smile on a child's face. So, thank you so much and have a great holiday. And uh, we're all going to have a great New Year's to come, right? Yeah. All right. So that's again the PS48 making it happen once again throughout the years to help our families in need. And all those who made an online donation, thank you so much because this is how we get these things done by your commitment to help the program um, to make this happen. Um, and even those who made a donation uh, by mail, thank you again. I mean, I, I don't have to express how many thousands of dollars it costs to do this. But we're not frightful to do it because we know we can depend on our community to make it happen. Um, all those who volunteer today, uh, again, thank you so much for the characters, for those who are working inside to help with the toys. And again, my amazing staff, um, especially my men. You guys uh, made it happen again, provided, getting all the toys together, getting everything together. So I'm very thankful for that. They did an outrageous job as usual. So we're very thankful for that. So that's what's happening right now. As you can see, we have a line of kids. The line of kids already been um, getting, getting ready to see Santa and a couple of characters. And um, we're just gonna have another day of chair, that's all, just to put a smile on the kid's face. That's what the event is all about. That's why we call it Operation Christmas Smiles. Uh, especially throughout these cha challenging times, we want everybody to at least have some form of normality, uh, some form of joy. And that's basically all what it's about, all right? So, again, um, we're going to be starting maybe soon, and we'll see how the event goes. Okay, is everybody excited to see Santa? Yep. Yeah, we're going to get some toys? Yeah? You're excited to see Santa? Yes! All right, so when he comes out, he wants everybody to be excited. This way, I heard that when, you, when you're excited, he gives you more toys. So he's going to be in here, and he's going to get an extra toy as well. Okay. So it's going to be some good stuff, right? He's coming out very soon. He's going to give you toys, and he's going to give extra toys out too. So, um, he's coming out very soon, okay? Tom, put your hands in the air. But the whole thing is, he wants everybody to smile. The bigger the smile when you see him, he, the more toys you get. So make sure you're smiling, okay? I am smiling. I am smiling. <laughs> All right, fun, fun, and fun. All right, you ready for it? You ready for it? We're ready. Santa's coming out any minute now. Is he? Santa's coming out very soon. All right, so are you ready for Santa? I'm ready for Santa. I've been good all year. You've been good all year? I've been a good girl. Okay, so um, what do you want from Santa this year? I want everybody to be not sick anymore. Yes, we all want that. And, and, and presents for all the kids. You guys are excited? You ready? Santa's coming out very soon. Gonna give out some nice toys and everything. It's gonna be fun, right? Yes? Yeah. He wants everybody to be excited, but when Santa sees the kids excited, he gets excited.
you just love the holidays? I sure do. It's my favorite time of year. You can't beat home sweet home for the holidays. Christmas Smile event. Yes, it's our 16th annual event, and we're so thankful for all those who sponsored to make this possible. I want to thank all the volunteers that made it possible, so let's give ourselves a round of applause. Yeah, you did a great job. Put smiles on kids' faces. Santa, thank you so much. Where are you, Santa? How you doing, Tommy, my favorite elf? <laughs> thank you so much for Merry again. Christmas. For Coming down from the North Pole and it's crazy. It. But um, we, had, we had a great time. We had a wonderful time. You know, it's not concluded yet. We still have three, four days to go. Yeah. But again, it was a great time. The kids had a great time. Yeah. Um, we had a lot of the characters that came to the end, right? So, um, again, this is what it's all about. It's yeah. put a smile on the kid's face. Let's read through these challenging times. This is what it's all about. So, the Reaching Out Community Services, once again, provided toys to the families that are in need, and um, we hope we made it happen. So we want to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a ho hopefully a healthy New Year to come. Yes, Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas, everybody. Oh, 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 oh Merry Christmas. Yay!
just love the holidays. I sure do. It's my favorite time of year. You can't beat home sweet home for the holidays. Everybody's having a great time.